Wow, you yeah. really love flipping your hair. Like, because I just did it myself. You're like one of the. I feel like in high school you were like that girl walking down the hallway. Like, are you kidding? I ate my lunch in the bathroom. Really? Yes. Oh, you know I ate my lunch alone too. Shay, I really like the way we look right now. Like, I almost don't want to leave the camera. Are we getting this? Yeah. What are show called? The. I know we have to come up with a good name. I feel like we should do like. Eriola Conche. Eriola <laughs> <laughs> Conche. Con is with, right? I, I can do this. I think. Wait, you can do what? Your lips in under five minutes. Not under five minutes. You but like not. Five minutes. You did this to me recently on a photo shoot, and we had a lot of people asking how you did this like I know, 3D everyone thought look. Everyone you got lip fillers. They really did. And by the way, I don't. It's my magic hand. This is like a 3D effect to make them like really pop, right? But what would you call it? We need a title. We're gonna call them DSLs. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting with this liner. Yes, so I'm starting with this liner and you want to keep it close to the lip line as you're starting here at the outer corner. As you go up towards the cupid's bow, you want to start overlining because <laughs> you want to create a pout. You don't want the lip to like be overdrawn all throughout. So where are you overdrawing? Closer to the cupid's bow. So it's, mm. it's starting like a feline down here and then it's like going up and up and up and up and getting back. You know, it's really hard to do Shay's makeup a lot of times because for the most part, she doesn't know how to stay still. So it's really interesting. Oh, you said I was good at staying still. You like to like, <sighs> during lab, like <laughs> up your brows and shit. <clears throat> I kind of just like follow her same lip shape, but bigger. I don't want to alter her lip shape. I want to alter the size. I feel like you can start looking a little crazy when you go too far up. I feel like it should just be right above the lip line. Like it shouldn't go too much higher. Like I feel like some people literally go as far as my the outline of my mustache. mustache and that's crazy. You're almost creating a shadow behind your lip ah, line. Ah, that's good. Right below the lip, you're kind of creating this shadow like I mentioned before, but you're not going that much lower. It's just to create a pout. So when you put like darkness right here, your lip automatically goes kind of like this, like it drops down a little. You want to stay like closer to your um, actual lip line on the outer corners and then you grow as you come out. So you get higher up here and lower right. in the middle here. So a lot of times people make the mistake of stretching out the entire lip so uh, then you end up with that duck look or maybe um, a clown got it. kind of look. Once you fill in most of the lip, um, the outline of it, you're going to fill in the outer corners of the actual lip. So this creates a shadow so that the, the focal point of the lip is the actual center of the lip. Wow, this is really shocking. Hmm. Having you still like this the whole time? Mm-hmm. This is some good stuff. So then I'm gonna have her stretch her lip and just perfect the line underneath. And this part seems a little crazy. Like she's always like, why do I have like- It feels like you're drawing down here. Right. So when you see a proportionate lip, your lower lip is usually a little bit bigger than your upper lip. Yes. So that's the cre the illusion we're creating. So I go a lot lower on the lower lip line because regardless, you can't actually see that part and it just creates like a nice little pout. My God, I'm, I'm sure I went over my five minutes. <laughs> Before we finish filling in the rest of the lip, wow, you hit your ass really hurt. hard. I'm gonna use a little bit of <laughs> concealer and a concealer brush. And I'm just gonna clean up the outer edge of her lip. And this you don't have to do, but I'm like really anal and I like my lines to be perfect. Some people do like a little bit more of a smudged out lip. I prefer more clean lines. So a little bit of concealer to clean up the lip line and you'll always look like you have perfectly shaped lips. Yeah. So for somebody too who has a, sometimes the lip kind of droops down, this is a good trick to kind of lift the lip because you can- My lip droops? No, it doesn't. Not you, baby. Oh, okay. But um, sometimes there's people who their lips kind of like frown a little. 
So you want to like lift with concealer and you can do that easily oh. by creating a line facing upward and then blending it up. The next step is using NYX Soft Lip Cream in the shade Oh, shade look at you. That's actually look. just to pull focus and we don't need that anymore these days. Ooh, look at you coming for me, baby. <laughs> Okay. So this is the shade London, and we're gonna use it to fill in her lip. And I kind of use it to blend the lip liner like into the center of the lip. So we're currently applying the London NYX Soft Lip Cream, and just like kind of merging the lip liner with the actual lipstick. I'm gonna use the color Sis by MAC. It's more of like a taupey brown. And I'm just gonna go over the edges. So the reason I'm using like these Toby Browns first is because this is kind of mimicking the same, sh a similar shade to the lip liner, except it's a little bit more nude. So instead of it being such a dark, harsh line, this kind of um, balances out the lip line. And I use like so many lipsticks <clears throat> in order to create this, which is why when somebody asks like, what lip shade is Shay wearing? I'm You're like, like, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm gonna use Tom Ford in the shade Stable Smoke. Wait, I'm doing this right? Yeah. So then this one's gonna go more in the center. This is more a little bit more peachy. It's funny, because for most people, they're like, oh my God, these lip colors all look the same. But they're really creating a gradient as we're getting towards the center. And what I'm trying to create is more of like this ombre. So that when we get to the center of the lip, there's like a pop of like lightness. Right, which really gives off that 3D effect. Yes. So the next lip product that I'm using is the Right Tone from MAC. This one's gonna go in the center. And this is the lip color right before the last one. This should be called the 20 item lip look. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I did a lip like this on Shay, she's like, oh my God. My lips feel heavy. They do. I'm like walking around with <laughs> like this. There's so much product on them. The last <laughs> lipstick we're using is Belle de Jour by NARS. It's one of my favorite nude lipsticks. We're just gonna pop that right there in the center. So the last step we're gonna do is go back with the lip liner. Sometimes you lose a little bit of definition. And you just wanna make sure that you got it there still. Mm -hmm. Cause you don't wanna lose what you got, baby. Cute! All right guys, so there you have it, the lip look that you were asking for. What do you guys wanna see? Yeah, what do you guys wanna see? Hmm? What do you wanna see? What do you wanna Let see? Let us know. Let comment us below. know in the comments below. Oh, snap! So what else do you say? Like and subscribe. There you go. Share, share, share. Mwah! No, synchronized. Mm. No, that wasn't oh. synchronized yet. Are we blowing up? Yeah. Okay.